I know one of your big concerns is your family, because I know they mean the world to you. And I'm looking at your mom and dad right now. And Barb, how are you feeling watching all this unfold? Chris, of course, I have my feelings. And, you know, the show last night, it didn't show everything. And, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot of love, let me say, on my DMs. I've been getting lots of love on that one. <laughs> but I will say, when I went for Hannah Ann, it was because she was the one that embraced me with love. With She was so organic. She was just so just so loving towards me. And we, I just felt, you know, just into her so much. I just loved her. The next day, we met Madison. And it started on a rocky road because she had us wait three hours for her to come in to, she didn't want to meet us. So we were there three hours. We had just come across the country, I mean, excuse me, across the world. And we were exhausted and, you know, we were just, you know, just getting used to the time there. And we had to wait three hours. And when she did come in, the whole family, you know, we didn't get an apology from her. And when I proceeded to ask her if she was madly in love with my son, she said no, and that she would not accept a proposal in four days. So how do you expect a mother who loves her son with all of her heart to take that? I couldn't, my whole family, my son, Jack, my husband, Peter, and myself, you, you didn't see that. Right. And as a mother, that, you know, wasn't what we were expecting. And therefore, when I said that I wanted Hannah Ann so badly was because I knew that she's just the issue to us. We just clicked right away. We did not have, unfortunately, we did not have that connection with Madison. All right. Well, I want to hear your reaction and, of course, yours uh, as we hash this out. And we'll do that when we come back.